the peacock. WLW? BPA, Queen of Bowling. You used to seeing her behind the mic. Today you see her as a competitor. Jennifer Claycamp opens the show as we've seen a lot of players open the show with a very good shot, but just not carrying out that 10 pin early on. She uh, She's going to be tough, Kathy, and um, I think you alluded to it. These two have squared off a number of times in match play, and not that there's animosity here, but there's no real love lost here. And both in the fourth game, Jennifer had a 250 and a 230. Julie had a 232 qualifying for the match today. They match strike for strike. Strike for strike, and, and Jen, that's not the way to do it. Open it up with a... Uh, well, that'll be in the next match, should she get past Julie, but uh, I tell you what, Jen, you don't you don't open it like that. Leave a good, strong 10 and then miss it. That's in the area again. I tell you what, Julie's really shown me a lot. Her first time on the telecast, but uh, let's watch this strike again if we can. This ball is perfect. Right over the 10th board, second arrow. A little deflection, yeah, but the 5 pin still does what it's supposed to do. Was traveling over there trying to hunt down that 7 pin. Well, I think she wants to get in on the All-City team, the Cincinnati All-City team that we're working on this year. And she can get points by becoming the queen of TV bowling. So that's what she's working on. Ah, well, then they've revamped the format. I know in past years, uh, the Enquirer's format did not a lot. Depends to our telecast, Kathy, but that's good to know. Look at her. She is just absolutely perfect. I tell you what, she is really, really pumped up. I love it. Gary Flynn from the Cincinnati Enquirer is revamping it. And yes, on the king and queen, whoever's the king and queen, well, they will get points towards the all-city Jennifer won't roll over and play dead on this one. Uh-uh. Even though she opens with a good shot and then whiffs the spare, she comes right down with, with a perfect shot. Her opponent, a double working, potential 30 to Jen's 9, 21-pin uh, deficit, but we've got a lot of paper left up there, and Jennifer won't quit. Jennifer hit 1120 qualify for today, which it gives her over a 210 average just to make the show. Phenomenal. There you go. And you can see why right there. Big smile on her face. She ought to laugh a little bit about this because it's not the kind of ball you want to see. Let's take a look here. It's the mixing shot. You can't really bank on this one time after time again. Head pits into your screen. Goes to the left wall. There you see it. Hits. Spins off. Comes out. Hits the four. Four into the five, whirling birds into the seven, four, five, seven, you are out of here, Jennifer. Is that what you say? Every pin's doing their oh, job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working overtime on that shot. Julie Pruitt with uh, feeling just a little bit of the heat applied by Jennifer Kleekamp, throwing a double at her, and Julie answers by throwing the ball a little high, leaving the three, six, ten. Julie's only been bowling competitively with these women in the last couple of years. A couple of years in the city match games and the last couple of years in the queen of TV bowling. Well, she's doing a fabulous job. And I'll, I'll tell you what, it's just uh, it's amazing to see her throw the ball this well. She's at 191 at Western Bowl. And she normally makes that one. Chops the three straight off the six and the ten. Both players with an open frame. Jennifer with the double working. We were talking about the Cincinnati All-Star team. Julie made the All-City team for the Hamilton Association two years in a row, so I'm sure she wants to try it again for Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. yeah she lives up in the Hamilton area, and uh, she does quite well up there. Husband is Lloyd. He says... He's her biggest fan. Well, I tell you what, Julie, you're getting a lot of fans built up here. People respect good bowling, and, and they, you know, we really like what you've shown us so far. Who are you talking to there, Julie? Yeah. I don't know, but it's working. Wonder <laughs> whoever she's talking to. Jennifer Kleekamp, lane eight, stumps in Bridgetown. Needs to keep striking. It's that smile there at the end for her. Must have knew the camera was on her. <laughs> 
Either that or she was grunting to put a little extra on this ball. Goes wide, throws it a little hard, leaves the two pin. Pretty easy spare to cover up though. I'd like to say thanks to Sam. He's our tournament official. We have Ryan helping him and Jason helping him keep score. Sam Coleman, the official official. Been around for a lot of time. He's got a lot of neat stories about the king and uh, bowlers in general. And I'd like to thank the party that uh, sent to me um, when back when we were asking for tips, the um, all the, the the book for the old Hamilton County League, and in it they had uh, some scores about like this: five pin deficit, separating the two players, strike working for Julie, and Jennifer doesn't quite carry the light mix. <laughs> One of her fans off to the right there, trying to root that ball home for a strike. If you look around here, Stumps has just been remodeled lately. From top to bottom, it's a very beautiful house on the side of west side of town. Well, we know how beautiful it is. We're here on uh, Thursday nights with the Wright Brothers team. We're uh, about 10 games ahead, so obviously all the people in my team like it. We have a lot of fun here, as most people do, with bowling. And you're going to have a little fun as we go to this commercial break, but uh, don't go away. We've got a lot of competition left. We'll be right back. Hello, that's Shirley Heidenrich. She's from Greater Cincinnati's Woman Bowling Association. She's the president of the association. She does, does a wonderful job. Yeah, and she's not a bad lady either. She gave me her flying pig pen. She designed that herself, Dave. She designs one every year, and they're beautiful. Well, I'm not really into flying pigs, but as far as they go, this is a nice pin. So uh, you we'll be wearing wear it. that. Yes, yes, ma'am. I will wear, wear it. it. Well, I just dropped it on the floor, but we'll pick it up. Julie going wide, leaving the two four eight on that particular shot. She probably didn't want to sit down. Yeah, she. It's trouble with the commercial break, but like all the contestants, they have to be versatile well enough to come back. There, you see it. The front pin is the two pin. To the left is the four, and behind it, sneaking around in the back there is the eight pin. You need to cover a lot of the front pin, the two pin, with the ball, and let the ball carry through as well as the two to get the eight. There you go. That's just about perfect. Thumps will be having their first annual doubles tournament. It's an 80% handicap on May 13th and 14th coming up. That's just a few weeks from today. And Cincinnati Pro Shops offering that Rhino Ball. We uh, want to congratulate everybody that uh, participated in the contest. Thanks for sending those cards and letters in. Likewise, if you want to comment about the show and how you'd like to see it made better or things we're doing right or wrong, we always welcome the comments and uh, <laughs> commenting on that shot. There's not a lot to say other than the fact that it was absolutely perfect. Julie looks great. She is really into this game. We threw our first Rhino Ball away on the first women's show last week, and we'll be giving two more away on the following two youth shows. So don't forget to send your postcards in to Greater Cincinnati, 1821 Summit Road, Cincinnati, 5237. And those balls are valued at over $100 apiece, and Jennifer Cleeking absolutely labeled that shot. If you don't mind, we'd like to have your age on the card when you send it in. That way we have an idea of what type of viewers are watching our program. Whether or not you're uh, at home or away on vacation and you're VCR in it, or uh, even if you're incarcerated, just let us know what, uh, what that might be. We've, we've got a lot of viewers from Batesville to Bogota, I think, and uh, we just like you tuning in. The ratings keep going up. That's because you guys keep tuning us in. Jennifer almost getting a good break on the 8-10 there. Take a look at it on the split screen. Watch her reaction. She's not overly pleased with the release. A little grit there. Just, yeah, carry, she says. That's the 8-pin going out. Now the 6-pin is leaning on the 10, and she is a little disappointed. I want to thank everybody that sent the bowling tips in to Dave throughout the year. They really were a big help to you, weren't they, Dave? Yeah, they were. And we want to thank everybody. And uh, that bike will be uh, will be going up on the uh, 
on the auction block real soon and uh, we will contact the person that won it and uh, there you see it Jennifer is uh, not looking at the score but if she were she could see that uh, she's four pins in the lead that strike working she lost her opportunity but Julie Pruitt right lane has an opportunity to build on that strike right now I want Great shot. 4-9. It goes out of there late, but nevertheless, it's out of there. Julie Pruitt with a key shot. Let's look at it here. She's happy. She's got a right to be happy. The ball is a little tight. Watch it enter the 1-3 pocket and then not deflect at all. It's going to take the 5-pin straight back. The 5-pin just misses the 9, but it gets out of there, and the 4-pin is slapped out. Julie's happy. She's got a double work. I want to remind you, those bowling clips are kept on file. If Dave did not use those this year, that means he will probably use some of those ideas next year. So keep them coming in. That's right. Keep them coming in. Julie's got the strike coming in. She now has a uh, triple that she's working with and really, really puts the pressure on my compatriot, Jennifer Kleekan, for... Uh, she really needs to start striking here, Kathy. She... Uh, carried in a three pin advantage but now with the triple that's been cut and she is technically 17 pins behind not going to help her cause at all going high cutting right straight through the heart and uh, leaving the six pin Jennifer Kleekamp opens in the ninth frame that opens the door for Julie Pruitt to strike out in the tenth 203 against 184. Julie Pruitt will go on to meet her opponent in game number three. We'll be right back in just a moment.